<laughs> How's it going, you sexy bitches? My name is Ice Knight, and I want to share with you my Sega Genesis game collection and what each game means to me. My love of gaming actually started with the Sega Genesis. It was 1998, there was a massive fire in my town, and we had to get evacuated. We ended up going to my cousin's house that lived in a trailer park, and in that trailer park, there was a whole bunch of garage sales that summer, and one person had the Sega Genesis. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. I begged and begged my dad to get it for me, but he's like, no, 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 it's it's nothing, it's whatever, it's just a freaking gaming console. So my cousin ended up running to his house, grabbing his sock drawer, going into a sock drawer, grabbing some money, and then going and purchasing it, and with that, it came with one Genesis and like 15 games. And the first game that I ever played, actually, I think I have a copy of it, it was, I believe it was Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. It was a Jurassic Park game, I know that. I don't know if it was the Rampage Edition, but that was the very first game I ever played. Ever since then, I was hooked. My dad actually downloaded some emulators and there was a game that I, oh yes, it was Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. I love this cartoon, it was totally crude. It was my kind of humor. I love this show and I loved this game. I never beat it, but I did get pretty darn far in it. A game that really, really frustrated the hell out of me was Echo. Echo the Dolphin was just ridiculous. I also have Echo 2 in here somewhere. Where is it? I don't know. It's somewhere in the pile, I'm sure. But I think I got past a couple levels and that was it. it. It just frustrated me so much. I had nowhere to go. See, this is the these are the days where games were hard. When Sonic Pinball, a game that I really didn't play much, was, I don't know, since I didn't play much, it probably wasn't that difficult, but fucking A, Jurassic Park was. Actually, no, this was the first game I ever played. The, just the original Jurassic Park, not this Rampage Edition. So yeah, I've got this game too. Um, I think I got past a couple levels and then I was like, mind blown, this is hard. Monopoly, a game that no one wins except for your grandmother. Real Monsters, this was a fantastic show. It was actually a TV series before it came a game. Uh, again, I didn't get far in this game. This is this is a time where I gave up easy in, in video games. because was like, oh my god, this is so hard. Except for a game called The Lost Vikings. I played that to no end. I beat it like three times too, and it's not an easy game to beat. But I have real monsters. I actually have really liked this guy with the armpits, just like the hair. It's awesome. These guys are like just beautiful little characters. I love them. I should actually re rewatch that show. For some reason, I also have a golfing game. No idea where that came from. It's probably because all of these games, except for a few, which actually mean the most to me, which is Toy Story, a game that I actually. I figured out about cheat codes in this game. I was so frustrated at it because I was playing it, playing it, playing it, and I got through like three quarters of it, like, God, like five times. And then I was on my last life. I was, I was the car and I had to get through a, a maze. And I was on the last life and I was so frustrated. I ended up hitting pause and just mashing the controller. And it turned out I put in a cheat code for 99 lives. And that is actually how I beat this game by accidentally cheating. So I, I figured out, I saw that, I, that all of a sudden it said 99 on in the top left corner. And I just like, oh my God, a grand luck. I'm amazing. I don't know how this happened, but damn it, this is awesome. I'm gonna beat this game and I did. And I still ended up spending like 30 lives. I still died quite a bit. Sonic and Knuckles, the really cool thing about this is you can actually put how sweet is that? You can put um, any Sonic game on top and then modify it. And I think, I can't remember how it works, but I think you either get like another map or mission or you can use Tails. I, I don't remember. Or, or I think you can use Tails, Knuckles, and Sonic. This just says not for real sale. That's hilarious. Like right there. That's hilarious. This is Sonic 2. I do have Sonic 1, which is, there you go, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Right there. What else do I got in here? 
Mega Turrican. Uh, yeah, this is one of those games with really, really cool art. You can see it on the back there. Sweet art, but difficult as all hell. I have like three Simpsons games and I don't really know why. One I bought recently, because I think I can resell it, but which is this one, the Bart's virtual, virtual Bart, the Bart party. It's actually got um, this, the, the, what the hell is this? The booklet inside, but it's really, really wrecked. Most of these do actually, I think, have booklets. Oh, Little Monsters doesn't. Monopoly. Unfortunately, I didn't really take care of the cardboard boxes when I was younger because I was dumb and naive. There was actually a point where I would have traded all my old stuff for a PlayStation. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> a game I played actually a fair bit just because it was a it was a really cool puzzle game. It was called Shove It. My sister didn't really like it when I told her to shove it because I was like, I'm just referring to the game. I'm not being rude. Yeah, she didn't like it. Didn't buy it. Tasmania. I don't think I played a lot of this game, but I probably should have, and I probably should again. Oh my god, there's something on it. That's gross. I have no idea what the hell's on that. I should wash that off. Nasty. Rocket Knight. This was a sweet game. I actually really enjoyed this. You this little mouse, and you sort of like dart forward and kill things. It's, it's really, really cool games without any kind of cover case or any Lion King. I really didn't like this. Really didn't like this game. So I just didn't play it. Unfortunately, it is also a bit scratched up. But oh well. Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Again, didn't play it. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. I played this quite a quite a lot actually. But I think I always stopped at like level 10 because I just kept dying and I lost all my lives and that was really it. Jungle Book. I have a, I'm pretty sure I've beaten this game a couple times, but I don't remember. Dark Water. That was a game I spent time on. It says 16 MEG. That must be the age range that you're supposed to supposed to play this in. I don't know, but three characters, and I'm pretty sure you get to choose between between one of the three. No, there's there's a map, and I think you. I'm pretty sure you either have a set route to go for each character, or you can choose which character that you use per map, and I don't remember how it works, but they all have different talents, and it's, it's really cool. That is a game I would definitely pick up and play again. Aladdin? Do I have another copy of Aladdin? I must. Didn't know I had two copies of Aladdin. Whatevs. Bob. Really good game. I really like this game. <laughs> You're this, you're this little bug, and you have a bunch of little superpowers, and you have this gun, and you, you do a lot of really cool stuff. You uh, got a flamethrower, you fucking kill everything. Hard as shit, but a great game nonetheless. This is a very thick case. See, some of these game cartridges are like tiny, and then some of them are like just a weird shape. But whatever. It must be a different kind that I just don't know about. For, for some weird reason, I have Beauty and the Beast. No idea why. It must have come in some sort of package deal. A lot of these did also come from pawn shops. A lot of pawn shops, specifically one pawn shop because the guy was awesome to us. Krusty Super Fun House. I remember this being hard as shit as well. <laughs> Another one of those games I was like, fuck this, nope, I'm out. The Simpsons Bart vs. the World. I think this is, oh maybe this is actually a NES game, hang on. This might be a Super Nintendo game. Oh my god, it is. Oh yeah, look at that! Holy shit! Dude! 
dude. Okay, well, I'm gonna quickly show you this, even though it's not part of it. But Bart vs. the World, very awesome. But even better, there's a fold out map in it. Or fold out cover. How awesome is that? It's a pit up poster. Fuck yeah! Oh, it's got gaming advertisements on the back for Smash TV. That game's worth a lot of money now, Smash TV. Holy crap. Oh my god, they're actually advertising stuff with a Game Boy on this. Damn! That is really cool. I did not know that was in there. Okay, well, that is not a Sega Genesis game. Uh, Star Trek. What the hell? Did I even play this game? I, I don't know. I was... I was never a big Star Trek fan. Like, I like the show, I'll watch it. Uh, my parents enjoy it, but I was never very into the show to a point I would play the franchise games. Uh, I, I do have a couple couple um, um, copies of Sonic 2 the Hedgehog. I didn't really know that I had Sonic 1, but apparently I do, which is really, really cool. So this is my gaming collection, 26 games, and I think a duplicate. If you think that this was cool, subscribe just like your mom would, and next week we're actually going to go through my SNES games. Oh, 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 oh.